Hello friends, this is NodeChat application tutorial series, and in this part, we will make registration form for this chat application. In previous part, we have learned how to set up server and how to connect Node application with Cloud MongoDB database. Now in this part, we will make registration form under this Node chat application. So for this, we have goes to server.js file and under this file. First we have to create routes for load chat application registration form on web page. So for this, here we have to write app.get method with two parameter. In first parameter, we have to write slash and in second parameter, we have to write asynchronous callback function with two parameter like request and response variable under this function we have to write response.send file method and under this file we have to write global directory name variable and after this we have to write index.html file so it will load this index file content on web page now we have create one new file with name like index.html. Under this file, first we have paste this HTML code. And under this code, we have use bootstrap 5 library and this code will create basic structure of our index page. Now under this file, first we want to create user register form. So first here, we have create one span tag with id attribute is equal to register error under this tag we will display registration form validation error now for create user registration form so here we have to write form tag with id attribute is equal to register and after this we have to write encryption attribute is equal to multi part form data so this attribute has been used while we have used file tag under form. Under this form for receive user first name details. So we have to create text box. So here we have to write input type is equal to text. Name attribute is equal to first name and class attribute is equal to form control. After this, for enter user, last name details, so we have to create another text box. So here, we have to write, input type is equal to text, with name attribute is equal to, last name, and class attribute is equal to form control. After this, we have to create one email input field for receive user email address details. So here we have to write, input type is equal to email, with name attribute is equal to email, and class attribute is equal to form control. Next for enter, user password details. So we have to create, one password field, so for this. Here we have to write, input type is equal to password, with name attribute is equal to password and class is equal to form control. After this, for upload user profile image, so we have to create one input file tag. So for this, here we have to write input type is equal to file with name attribute is equal to image. And from this tag, user can only select image only, so for this, here we have to write. Accept attribute is equal to, different image type, so from this tag, user can able to select only this type of image. Lastly for submit form data, so here we have to write, button tag, with class is equal to, with 100, button, button large and button primary class. And after this, we have to write 
type attribute is equal to submit, and in button text, we have to write register. So by click on this button, user can submit form data, so here our register form is ready. Now we want to check registration form output in the browser, so we have goes to terminal. And here we have run command like, node server.js, so after run this command. Here we can see that, node server has been started, and here our node application has been connected, with MongoDB database. Now for check output in the browser, so here, we have write, localhost with double colon, 3000 port number. And here, we can see that, chat application index page has been display, on web page. Under this page, here we can see that, registration form has been created, so by fill this form details. User can able to register, under this chat application. So in this part, we have create registration form, under this node chat application. In next part, we will write, JavaScript code for submit registration form data to server, so we will be meet in next part.